Okay, here's an interesting problem. We've got an ash tree that's died. If you have ash trees, they're, they're either dead or going to die. And it has tipped over. And it is hung up in an elm that's about 12 inches diameter. And the way it's laying on that elm, it's going to want to roll left if it comes loose up there. So, and one limb is also up in a sassafras. So, a little bit concerned if I uh, drop this, get you know, get too much movement, it may uh, want to throw chunks. But uh, anyway, I'm going to reset this camera so we're kind of looking up along it. I'm going to do the uh, vertical cuts through that, try to get it down a little lower. Um, I thought about dropping that elm. It's off to the side enough, I'm out from under it, but if I drop that elm, this thing uh, may throw chunks back on me, and rain wood down my head. I don't want to do that. So we're gonna see if we can chunk it down first and see how that goes. So I'm gonna move this over and set it up and we'll see how, how it all goes. As I was cutting down through that, that wood's punky, and rather than letting me cut all through, the roll on that, the roll force on that, made it go ahead and bust that punky wood, and it rolled, which pinched my saw. So I was standing there with a jammed up saw, but I could see the gap growing wider, and it went ahead and rolled over, and down in one cut. Typically, what happens on these? Let me walk this up. Typically what happens on these things is uh, you keep dropping one chunk and another chunk and another chunk and it gets more and more vertical and it becomes a safety hazard to you trying to get down those last few because they get so vertical they want to dump back on you. So this is a big relief to have that down in one go. And the sassafras there appears to be Okay, the elm has a big old widow maker hanging up there. So that's going to be a no-go zone. That's just up there. It's going to have to get blown down out of a storm. So that's a... I guess we could drop the elm and get rid of that problem. I'll ask the homeowner if they want that elm down too. I wasn't really looking for extra trees today. But anyway. It didn't go the way I wanted, 
but it went well and it went ahead and dropped. So, a good one. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate everybody who watches. I especially appreciate all the guys who comment that I need to sharpen my saw. I almost forget to do that some days. So we will catch you all later. Bye bye. Okay, we got her all done. Uh, the homeowner's got a tractor with a loader, so they're going to move this. All I had to do is chunk it up and nothing got broke and nobody got hurt. That's a good deal. Thank you for watching.